What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are making tacos and these tacos are different because they are made from hibiscus flour. Hibiscus flour has lots of benefits so make sure you do your homework on what hibiscus flour does. One tip I can tell you that it does it helps out with the immune system so if you want to be healthy this is what you should be eating. So I'm going to tell you what you're gonna need to make these awesome delicious yummy yummy tacos. So to make the actual hibiscus tea, um, I have some dried hibiscus flowers. This is my favorite flower. I love hibiscus flowers and the fact that I can eat them in tacos, like it's mind blowing. So if you can get the hibiscus flowers from your local grocery store, Mexican grocery store, the Mexican section, it's called Jamaica. I'll spell it out. It's probably spelling out right now on the screen. So I'll put the link down below. If you can't find it in your local grocery store, you can order it through Amazon. So it's one cup of dried hibiscus flowers. And I don't know if you guys ever um, gone to a Mexican restaurant or a Mexican store and it looks like this bright red Kool-Aid. Um, well, that's what this is made out of. It's called Jamaica and it's really yummy. It's pretty much um, hibiscus iced tea. So if you're interested in the recipe, definitely let me know and I'll show you how I made it. So one cup of hibiscus flour. For our topping, we are going to use one tomato and we're just gonna dice it up for the topping of our taco. So bam, the tomato's ready. One tomato. <laughs> Um, another little topping that we're gonna do is um, this red onion topping. And what it is, you'll probably see it in a lot of Mexican restaurants. I don't know if you've ever seen really pink onions. Well, they're actually pickled in vinegar and lime. So you're gonna need half a purple onion and you're gonna slice it up where it's, you know, thin little, oh, well, I'll show you that in the, a little bit into the video. So half a purple onion, two limes and two tiny tablespoons of vinegar. This is another topping. And the third topping, I'm going to use these pink beans. You can cook them directly from the can, or if you wanna cook them on your own, that's fine too. Um, but I used the can, and what I did is I took the can, I put it in a pot, and I brought it to a boil, and all I did was add salt and pepper. That's it, super simple. So that's another topping. So we have the tomato, the onions, and the and the beans and definitely salsa so if you're interested in putting some salsa on top of your tacos i did make another video with the recipe to a delicious yummy salsa so it's probably showing up on the screen right now so click on that so you can learn how to make the salsa to top off these tacos and now what we're going to need to put in the hibiscus um, meat is two tablespoons of sofrito. And if you don't know where sofrito is, there's another video popping up to show you the recipe for this. And I am making a cookbook that is based on all the recipes that I use sofrito on. You guys, this, it amps up your recipes. It's delicious. I mean, some of the ingredients that I put in there are onion, garlic, pepper, uh, turmeric. Um, what's that other one? What's that other one? That's good for belly aches and ginger. Ginger. So yeah, I amped it up. So sofrito. And if you're interested in the book cookbook, it's gonna be coming out really soon. I'm putting all these awesome recipes into it where I'm doing a merge of Mexican recipes and Puerto Rican recipes. So this is gonna be on the Mexican side using sofrito. So two tablespoons of sofrito, one tablespoon of olive oil, two teaspoons of sazon. If you have the packets, fine, use it. But I did um, show you guys how to make this in the channel. If you're interested in using um, the packet, just use it. And if you're interested in making your own, then follow the video that's popping up right now. So I have my homemade version here, two teaspoons, one teaspoon of turmeric. Like I said, if you, you can put turmeric into anything i mean it has a lot of benefits and it's an anti-inflammatory so you know if you got a, a hurt shoulder or something going on it's swollen turmeric and i like to use chicken bouillon and what i did is i started reading the ingredients of most of the things that i use and i found that it had chicken fat in it so I did find this and it, it's completely vegetarian, vegan, no GMO, super awesome. So you can replace 
Um, the, the other ingredient with this, and I'll put it down in the description so that you can also find it. So it's gonna be one cube of that. So let's start making our hibiscus. What we're going to do is in a medium pot, you're gonna add four cups of water. You're gonna bring that to a boil, and then you're gonna add your cup of, of hibiscus flour. Once you cooked it for about 10 minutes, you take it out, you strain it, you keep that juice because that's the hibiscus iced tea. Keep it, do not throw it out. I'll show you later what you can do with that. And then you rinse it out and you're gonna, you want the water to come out clear. You want it to stop coming out um, pink. At this point, it's not gonna stop. Um, you have to cook it again. So once you strain it, you rinse it out and you're kind of like pulling it like if it was pulled pork, opening up the little flowers. And then you add two more cups of water, cook it again for 15 minutes and you strain it, keep that juice as well, cause that's again, your hibiscus iced tea. And then you're gonna rinse it out with cold water. It's gonna end up looking like something like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the little um, flower apart like that. You don't want a big chunk of flower like this. So you're gonna just pull it apart, apart and you're going to look for the little buds. I know I saw maybe one or two in here. These little buds, the ones that are closed, the ones that are open are fine, but the ones that are closed, we can't use those because they have little seeds inside and you don't wanna run into that when you're eating a taco, so we, we can throw that out. And that's it. This is ready to be cooked and put into our tacos. We have this really hot cast iron and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my tablespoon of olive oil, like so. Give that a little mix, make sure I coat it the whole pan and my tablespoon, two tablespoons of sofrito. Let that cook for about, um, about a minute. Let, you know, all these awesome ingredients let out what they need to let out. Mm -hmm. It smells really, really good. And one ingredient that I forgot to mention, which is kind of like my favorite ingredient, is cilantro. This is another topping to the tacos, um, just right off of the stem, straight to the taco. So cilantro, forgot that one. And then we're gonna add our flour, like that. And then we're gonna add our two teaspoons of seasoning. Our teaspoon of turmeric and our little cube chicken bouillon, like so. It's just pretty awesome to know that, you know, the ingredients that you put into your recipes are animal free, like something as little, you would not even think that, even the tomato one, I don't know if you've seen the ch tomato bouillon, like I thought I was safe with that, and then I started reading it, and even that has, <laughs> It has beef stock in it, not beef stock, uh, beef fat in it. So not even the tomato one was safe. So luckily I found that one. I'm gonna keep a lookout for the tomato version. So let's put this on the stove, cook it for five minutes, and then we'll go from there, just to make sure that we don't overcook it. So while that's on the stove cooking, I am going to take a little bit of cilantro and start cutting it up, because I'm gonna add it directly into the hibiscus. That way every single bite has cilantro. <laughs> yes, I'm crazy about cilantro. All right, so you take your little stem, your whole little vine, and incorporate the whole thing. Stem too, because that's delicious. So what I like to do is I take my stems like this, I fold it in half, and then I just cut all the way through like this. Not too big and not too small. And I'm gonna add that directly into the meat right before I almost finished cooking it. That way it's not all the way cooked, but it's not all the way raw either. So it's that perfect in between, kind of like broccoli. I, I like my broccoli like that. Not all the way cooked, but not all the way raw. It's perfect, crunchy, but cooked at the same time. I don't know, it's just me maybe. So our toppings are done. That's still cooking. Um, the, the onions, what I did 
is in a container, a little plastic container. I marinated half of onion. So how I cut it, put that back. Boop, boop. Cut this edge and then I cut this edge and then I took the top part off like this. And I love this because it's so, so, so colorful, so pink. These are like rainbow tacos. They have all, all kinds of colors. And the tortilla could actually be blue because there is a such thing as blue corn. Just imagine how colorful that would be. But today I made um, just regular corn tortillas. They were homemade. You can actually purchase your tortillas if you like, but today I made homemade. And if you're interested in making your own tortillas too, um, follow the video that just showed up right now on the screen somewhere up high. So take your um, onion that's cut in half and place it on its side or like this and just cut down. And this gives you perfect little strips like this. This is exactly what you're looking for, strips. And some pieces are gonna come out like this, so just turn them into strips, like that. And just keep going all the way down, like that. Like that, and you end up with little strips. So once all of your onion is cut up, and I'm gonna stop, because I, I can't cut onion without crying. It's like, the only way I can cut onion without crying is by having someone else cut it for me, because I cry, so I'm, not, I'm gonna stop. Uh, so, you put your onion in a container, like so, and you add your two tablespoons of vinegar, and you add the juice of two limes, like so. I already did it. I knew I was gonna cry, so I just went ahead and did it. And marinate it for a few hours, and you end up getting these really beautiful pink, oh, so aromatic, onions. And I don't know about you guys, but I love onions on my tacos, I do, but then you end up with that breath issue afterwards. But if you pickle it, uh, it helps. <laughs> it helps a lot. So this is, I still get to put my onion on the taco and I don't get those effects that scare me or scare others. So, I mean, these onions look so pretty, so they're ready. That's it for the three toppings. So I have the beans, the tomato, and the pink onions. And the cilantro is directly incorporated into the meat. All right guys, the meat is done, and this is what it's gonna look like. I put the cilantro in already, so we're gonna start building the tacos. So earlier I did make some salsa, and I did make some homemade tortillas, and like I said it earlier, if I stated it earlier, if you're interested in making the salsa and making the tortillas, Follow the links that appear on the, on the screen and you can make your homemade salsa and your homemade tortillas. So let's start building these tacos. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tortillas out, like so. And I'm gonna get like three out. One, two, three. Some are smaller than others because I was experimenting with size. So here's one tortilla two tortilla and three tortillas, really, really soft. So I'm gonna take my beans first, like this. And then I'm gonna add my meat, my hibiscus meat like that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of onions, like that. Really, really pink onions, ah, yummy. And then my tomato, like that. And then a little bit of salsa. Ah, uh, there you go. That's it. Let me wipe off my hands. You build all three of your tacos. One.
there you have it you guys that's your hibiscus flower tacos and this is the water that i made from it my iced tea that's made from the actual flower from the hibiscus this is really delicious so pretty much all i did to make this was in a pitcher when i strained it i put all that water in a pitcher and then i added um sweetener any sweetener that you want it could be um, agave uh, raw cane sugar or whatever sweetener of your pre preference and that's it bon appetit if you like the video give it a thumbs up remember sharing is caring so definitely share the video and enjoy thanks for watching yum and now we photograph That was very windy. <laughs> Whoa, that was windy. It was so windy, it knocked down like flower pots out there.